How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of mystery beers. Yeah, courtesy of my boy, Jared, from Ohio. He sent off a bunch of box of beers. Mystery and others. We're going to dive into this sucker, see what's what. She looks like a big old hazy. Yeah, throw that up there. Throw that sucker there. Yeah, I mean, she looks like a big gargantuan hazy. Double IPA, something somewhere around those bits and pieces. So, yeah. We're off to a kind of predictable start. At least... You would think so. You would hope so. Um, yeah. Rich orange core, pinky finger, fluffy creamy head, all the parts of a nice hazy double IPA. It's got a nose. Citrus. All the citrus. All the pineapple and grapefruit and uh, orange. Um, there's a soft little peach vibe in there too, so I kind of dig on that. Yeah. It has this little bit of kind of like a, a little bit of like a weed pulling kind of grassy greenness thing going on on in it done and done somebody's nice big juicy dink hazy let's dive in cheers yeah i mean that is so much fruit so much green i mean it is just ranky dank on one end big huge running the gamut of citrus on the other that kind of peach thing is still floating in there but it's really dominated by this kind of triple threat of pineapple grapefruit and orange and then get that little bit of kind of soft peachiness underneath. But really, it's so aggressive on both ends from citrus to green. Um, and that green comes a little bit more grassy green with a little bit of danky weediness. On top of that already kind of pulling weediness, it just has this kind of back and forth. Something really aggressive, really electric. It's sweet enough. It's sweet. It's not overly sweet, especially with how aggressive those two hop flavors are. It doesn't get too heavy-handed. Yeah. Man, this is an impactful beer. Yeah, I, this has to be somebody's double IPA pushing the mid sixes or mid eights. I mean, like 8.5%. 8 8.5% 8 core four, like nothing else added other than just a bonkers amount of aggressive dry hops. What kind of hops? I don't know. It's just like, a, it's, it's, I don't know. I'm getting like Mutueka vibes off of this. You know, maybe some New Zealand vibes, a little bit of Galaxy maybe. Yeah, 8.5% double hazy. I mean, not to make it that simple, but I don't think this is an overly complicated beer. Let's just, let's just slide this off, if we can, and we'll see what the um, see what the jam is. Okay, we're dealing with Celestial Brew Works. This is a space renaissance. This is a triple India Pale. Okay, 10%. It's big. I knew it was big. Amarillo, Strata, Galaxy, Comet, and Citra. Okay, a whole bunch of different hops in there. 10%. I like this. I'm not a big fan of, like, big triple kind of IPAs, but this one actually does me kind of all that kind of proper in a, in a very boisterous, very aggressive kind of way. Yeah, this is really tasty stuff, but dangerous. Dangerous is dangerous. Dangerous is the name of the game here. And um, sometimes you want a dangerous beer. Arsenal just won the FA Cup on a pretty dominant um, showing over Chelsea. We got a couple breaks in the game. Do breaks, because we got a couple breaks that didn't go our way. Um... And uh, pretty much dominated three quarters of the game. I thought we were going to get smoked in the first half. That was not the case. So nothing wrong with celebrating with a little bit of a big old triple hazy. Um, so yeah, let's talk about it. It's one of the better triple IPAs I've had as late. Actually, yeah, it's up there. It's probably close to about Rushmore status because these triple IPAs are really hard to do for me. Um, they tend to come off uber sweet or they lack impact in a weird kind of way. This drinks, even though I said eight and a half, I, I just hesitated even going bigger. From the get, I knew it was a big, huge beer, and this is showing me all that kind of triple IPA goodness that I love from the people that usually do it quite well. Other halves of the world, um, the uh, equilibriums of the world, and here's the kicker on it. There's, from what I can see, from what I'm reading on there, no lactose. So you're talking about uh, no lactose, triple IPA. Those are few and far between on a good list for me, so this is really tasty stuff. And art-wise, it's actually pretty cool, man. It's like very much old kind of movie styling, kind of campy kind of stuff. I kind of dig that quite a bit. So, um, so yeah, it's definitely up there. Um, let's see. Value and availability, no idea. Jared, let me know what's what when it comes to price on this and leave you with, if you like what we like this beer. If you like the big old hazies, you're not afraid of bittering. You like that delicious kind of rich citrus fruit gamut, then you'll dig this. 
So there you go. Another mystery beer in the books. Thank you very much, Jared, for sending this off. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, enjoy more mystery beers, you're more than welcome to send them off. Uh, it's the only way us out here in the beer tubing world can really do them. Uh, you're more than welcome to reach out at, to me at Matt and massivebeers.com or massivebeers at gmail.com. Um, want to check me out doing the social media? Just type in Massive Beers. If you want to check me out doing the podcasting stuff, just type in Beer Massive. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully enjoying a little hazy right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.